Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Swords and Serpents. I am your host, Melee Wizard, and we have reached level 9. Welcome to the end of the beginning. I ended up giving that silver helm to Jade, since that is the best helmet in the game aside from the ruby helmet. And if I ever get a couple more, I'm going to give those to Dave and John. So, uh, this level starts off with a corridor with a bunch of doors lining across them, although most of them have nothing but scripted battles, just like this one. And there we have a new warrior type. Hopefully they won't hit quite as hard as some of the enemies we've fought previously. Although if they keep missing, I'm not going to complain. Okay, come on. Just keep that axe away from my head. Thank you. I said keep it away. Eh. Yeah, the enemy groups are going to be getting larger and larger from here on. Start, we already started seeing five, eventually are going to be seeing six, sevens, and eights. Maybe not this early, but they will be coming. And they will be very, very irritating when they do. Alright, they're, they're going down. Alright. Come on, there's one more. There we go. And some zoom tubes can be entered backwards. And that little piece of information is why I chose the particular stairway that I did. Because if I went the other way, I would not have had access to that little piece of information. And in this level, that information is actually pretty relevant and I'll get to that when I'll reiterate that when we get to where it's relevant but for now I'm having fun killing goblins and trying not to die ah yes these blue goblins are the ones that only do single attacks all right I keep forgetting whether it's the red ones or the blue ones Come on. yes got him Just go ahead and heal everyone real quick. Alright, so... <laughs> come on. Okay, only two. Alright. You know, so when we start seeing groups of two, maybe three, it's not gonna... I'm not gonna be... It's not gonna be that much of a deal. So we'll come through here, fight another scripted battle of five red goblins. Lovely. As opposed to being hit for like seven, eight, nine damage. Mage staff. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give that to Rose. I believe Dave has it. Yes. Since I figured the mage staff was better than the red staff, I'm gonna go ahead and make that switch. All right. And when your spell fails on the path to victory, turn right. <sighs> really? And it had to be wizards too. Just kill them all, kill them all. Only well, got rid of one before they started attacking. And ah, oh, almost. Um, yeah, I'm gonna heal everyone again, mostly for Jade's benefit. Blood Dagger! I didn't expect to find that this soon. Blood Dagger is part of my endgame equipment for Dave. Because the death the Blood Dagger is a big improvement on the Death Dagger, which, and also has the one-hit kill capabilities, provided I'm even accurate on that count. So yeah. I love having that. So okay. And here we have a secret passageway to a hall that has a lot of traps, so I'm going to go ahead and cast my flight. Ah. Oh, I was going the right way. There we go. And we go through this door. And now we have to pass wall through up ahead. And we've activated, activated a teleporter that takes us two spaces away. Why? I don't know. But, fair warning, there is no escape from what lays behind this wall. Really? 
Huh. Well, I take that as a challenge, so... It's... Welcome to my landing pad. I award you 1,000 experience points. Uh, okay, so... I can't get out this way, can I? Yes, I can! Okay, fair enough. <laughs> so much for no escape, huh? Well, there's... And I suggest you only go to that spot once. Oh boy, I need to heal John. Well, I'll heal everyone at the same time. Because if you go to that spot again, he will teleport you to a different to a different part of level nine. And if memory serves, if you keep going to him, he'll actually start taking experience away. So yeah, if you can help it, only visit that guy once. And I wasn't even sure if I could even pass Wall out. That was that was a pleasant surprise there. And go ahead and you know I'm gonna keep using Major Heal. Because I want to make keep everyone at good health, and I think it, like to think it's more efficient that way. And now I have to start pass walling through here, and just keep on pass walling. Um, actually, no, not just yet. I'm going to be healing up first, and. I'm pretty sure John could use some more healing. And I'm gonna use a major heal again just to make sure. Okay. Now that that's taken care of, go ahead and pass wall through here where we find a magic fountain. Lovely. And do one more pass wall through here. And we activate another teleporter. This chamber is filled with zoom tubes. And that was another magic fountain. Okay. Fair enough. Oh well. It seems kind of odd having two magic fountains so close together, but oh well. Mage Cloak. Alright. Uh, let's see. What does Jade have for armor? I forget. Leather. Okay. <laughs> that settles that. Um... Uh, this, I believe this mage cloak is some good in-game equipment, aside from the glow cloak. But since I have two mages... Oh yeah, that does, that does the trick. And this particular room has about five zoom tubes in it. All of them going to different places, some more useful than others. Yep, zoom tube levels. This first one goes back to level 1. This next one goes to level 6. This one to level 8. This one to level 13. And that one to level 9. So, to elsewhere in level 9. And this one to 13, it's not any place we want to be. Not now, not ever. But, remember that comment about going into zoom tubes backwards? Well, if we go into this second one backwards, there's no telling what's at the end of a zoom tube. So we go into the zoom tube backwards and we'll see where we end up. Ah, we're in level 10. Welcome to the beginning of the end. Okay. And there's a couple of good pieces of equipment here, and it's my flight is still active, that's good. I'll go ahead and pass wall through here. And we have a group of five zombies, and the flight spell just wore off, so I'm gonna have to refresh that in a moment. This base didn't have a trap in it, but the next one will. And yeah, I really don't want to have to go through that grief. Alright, so go ahead and refresh my flight. And pass wall. Yep, this particular room I'm in right now has a lot of fire in it, so 
somehow the flight tends to negate that, but in the fires of the forge, you find the fire sword! The second best weapon in the game for John. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that to him. And where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Go ahead and trade it to John. Equip that, and oh, his AC went up too. Very nice. And there is one more piece of equipment in this region, and it's on the other end of the of the level. And we'll see what that is soon enough. Since we're in the a very warm passageway, it's kind of a clue as to what what it is. And more zombies! Yay! All right. Plus three sword. That's a pretty nice weapon, but the sword I just got is already better than that, so. Oh boy, more ghosts. We all know how tough these ghosts are. And so close, thank you. Ah, wrong one. Heal, I get Jade to heal Dave. And I'm gonna heal him again. Well, no, actually I'm gonna use a major heal so I can get Dave and Jade at the same time. And John too, for that matter. And go ahead and use Pass Wall through here. And Pass Wall again. In the heart of the forge, you find... The Fire Shield! And if memory serves, I think the fire shield is only just as good as the equipment Dave and John already have. Uh, mirror shield and ruby shield. I, yeah, I think the mirror shield is just as good, if not better, than the fire shield anyway. So, frankly, that getting that was kind of useless, but oh well. I got it just for the sake of completeness and in case you didn't already have something better. Like if you never found the mirror shield or something. And I'm on fire! Alright. Well, that's demonstrating that little trap there. And dang it, I thought I already fought this one! Oh, Which wow. is a pain, but it could be worse. Alright. Go ahead and pass wall through here. Ah! Dang it. Okay, one zombie. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Really? Oh boy, a different type of wizard. Lovely. Come on. Just die, you stupid. There. Finally. Go ahead and heal everyone, particularly Jade. And have Jade use one. Ah. Come up this way. Back and forth, forth and back. Yep, that is a clue to how to progress. And first, you have to go this way. Back. Forth. Forth. And an enemy. Lovely. Alright, hopefully that'll be enough. There we go, alright. Back, and teleporter. And that takes us to the north half of the room. And here close by we have this one room with... The temple! Thank you for the temple. And, frankly... I'm sick of all these enemies now. So until next time, this is Melee Wizard, and have a nice day.